going to show you a little bit about Computercraft. Now, Computercraft is a mod that installs for Minecraft. Now, you can download it and put it in a simple mods folder, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to copy that. Now, when you're in Minecraft EDU, if you go to open and go to open Minecraft EDU folder, it will show you the contents of this. Now, if you go into Minecraft and then go into the mods folder, you can paste that mod in there. You can see I've already got that, so it's not much of an issue. So that's how you can simply add the mod. So if you click on Start Minecraft EDU, and if you go to the Launch button, it will load up Minecraft, but what you will see is a kind of sample of Minecraft. You can still access regular Minecraft using Minecraft EDU, because there is a link there, uh, but it's a kind of modified version so that as a teacher you can have some more control over it. So I'm going to type in my name and log in. And you can see in the bottom left corner you have your mods. You can see Computercraft is there. And when I create a world, I'm going to go to single player, create my world, and I'm going to make it in creative mode. Uh, and that kind of gives you a flat world. If I go to more world options, I want to make it super flat. Done. Create my new world. And you'll see in a minute that I can actually search for, here we go, if I click E for inventory, uh, just remember not to get your buttons mixed up. Uh, if I go to E for inventory and I click up here to search, I can search for my first computer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a computer into my inventory and press escape. And now if I right click and then right click on it again, it comes up with my menu and I can actually start programming here. So let's do a simple one, edit, hello. So this is going to be a hello world program pretty much what you do uh, most of the time when you first start programming. So I'm going to print hello world. You press control on your keyboard to save it and then press control, press right to exit. And now if I want to run my program, all I need to do now is type in what the program was called and it will run that for me.